Alright, so your system says 8 gigs of dedicated GPU memory, but also 32 gigs shared GPU memory. What the heck does that even mean? So, um, uh, so as you can see, I have uh, my physical memory here. Uh, I got 64 gigs of physical memory with 3200 megahertz. So, let's go to GPU. So, GPU, as you can see, uh, I have dedicated GPU memory, which is 8 gigs, and the shared GPU memory, which is 32 gigs. And that's how I got 40 gigs. Oh my god! So, this 32 gigs was taken from this physical memory, which is 64 gigs. <laughs> So basically, um, dedicated GPU memory, aka VRAM, is the good stuff because it's connected to your PCI slot. It's faster. It's physically built onto your graphics card, super fast, and it, that's what your games and video editor actually want to use. And shared GPU memory, that's basically your PC saying, hey, I got extra RAM lying around, let's lend some to the GPU. It's lower because instead of being directly attached to the GPU, it has to travel across the system bus. Think of it like borrowing your neighbor's Wi-Fi. It works, but it ain't ideal. So when your uh, so when does your PC use it? Only when your 8 gigs of VRAM are stuffed full, like 4K video editing, giant textures in your AAA games, or 3D rendering. Uh, the OS automatically manages it. So don't go poking around in your BIOS thinking you were unlocking secret performance. It's not happening, bro. So shared memory is a safety net, not a performance booster. If you constantly hit the ceiling on VRAM, don't waste your time messing with settings. Instead, watch my videos. Just get a new graphics card with more VRAM. And now you know why your GPU ma uh, magically has more GPU than it actually does. I've got 40 gigs by of my GPU. Oh my god. Ha <laughs> ha. Thank <laughs> you.